actually have it up already, though. Mm. Yeah. So this is SCAD. You can download it. It's really small. It's free. It's used to 3D model. I'm going to turn off push talk. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Alright, so basically two views. You got your 3D view, like any CAD software, and your coding oh, view. Mute. Yeah, you gotta definitely mute me. Yeah, I'm good now. And I'll try and take like five seconds for each item here so that the delay doesn't hurt you. If you wanna communicate. <laughs> um, forget this line, doesn't matter. Forget all this stuff. Basically. I can't see that because of your. Uh, my camera's yeah. there. Camera, yeah. Now I'll make it bigger. Okay, now you can see it nice and tight. Yeah. Um, with just six lines of code, I have a bullet for my game. Uh, and then if we check like some other ones, like let's say gear two, this one's a little bit more complicated you can create a gear using code and a lot of people use this software to create like small models or 3d printed models or uh, customizable models because in reality all of these like the height of this object um, let me do height height and height plus one I could say height equal to five here and see it's like five tall and I can set it to ten and now the bullet's ten tall. So people use this software to make um, like highly customized, uh, highly customizable models in that way. But it doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry about it. That makes that. it easy to like mass produce them almost. Like if you want. Yeah, if you want a bunch of randomized ones. Oh yeah, you can get like randomized support in here. So I, I probably or if you have like, made, like a rifle and a pistol <laughs> bullet in a simple game look the same, just different sizes, and just copy paste. Yeah, um, and a lot of that can be handled in the game editor too. But, but yeah, yeah. What what you're saying here is you could like really Hashtag like m programming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could really like model out like a whole rifle in this, and like just tweak the parameters afterward, like like how long you want the stock and stuff. And that that's very Borderlands the approach. I'm sure they, I'm sure they did something similar to this for Borderlands. Um, because I have so many, you know, little objects that are just like a little different. Um, but we can get into the basics of this. Let me show you some other cool things I've been working on here. Like, um, Rifle Ammo 2. This is like six, uh, you know, some rows of bullets in a little box, right? Or, um, <coughs> Rifle Ammo 2. That is That's not a lot of code for that model. That's kind of cool. I know, isn't it? So it's, and it's actually really easy to build piece by piece. So let's let's take this. This is the clip of my weapon in the game, and it's a pretty complicated model. There's a lot of code that goes into it, but we can we can dismantle it piece by piece. Um, so I'll make it bigger here. Um. There's some cool operators in OpenSCAD, so I can I can use exclamation mark, hashtag, and of course I can common things out if you've ever coded just double slash. So what hashtag will do is let's say I just I'll hashtag some random thing like this. I don't really know what it does because I didn't code this recently. If I press F5 and render it again, I can see exactly what this piece is. And if we look at our model, we can tell this is the piece that cuts out this square here. Um, so that, that allows you to go back to it like a year later. Yeah, and you, you, well, yeah, and this is very helpful in development because if you just want to see one thing at a time, or if you want to see something that is a, a subtraction, which is what this is, we'll get into that in a moment. Um, you know, it's a piece you couldn't see when the model's fully rendered because all it's doing is it's a cube that subtracts out of everything else and it produces this. But we'll explain that a bit. Hashtag just allows you to see things 
and then you can um for instance here's one of the ammos I can put an exclamation mark actually I'll just put an exclamation mark here and it'll only render that piece of it so if you're working on like this piece of the programming and I don't want the ammo in it I can say just give me this piece which is really handy so we can go back and go all the way down to the bottom here and figure out how this model was generated so if I just go here and say only render this part it's like it's the same as like deleting everything else we can see yeah. just what these lines of code do. Um, so first off, it's a cube. I want to see that cube. So let's just change it to exclamation mark the cube. This is the the base of the rifle. Um, cube, it's 5, 7, 1.5. How did I get those values? I just kept fucking with them and re-rendering until I got it how I wanted it. That's just height so, width. Yeah, just... Depth or whatever. Yeah, and this true means center. If it's not centered, it like renders at zero 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 the corner. You put a true center piece of cake. I can. Uh, I don't look that bad. I mean, I can do <laughs> cubes. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely. It takes some practice. This is my most complicated model yet, and like I'm, I'm pretty proud of this one. And to be honest, it's just, it's just really simple pieces being put together. You know, it's only twenty eight lines of code, hardly yeah. even. You know. Um, <clears throat> so, we've, we've seen this cube, right? Uh, let's take a look at what it's being subtracted by. I'll just hashtag both of these. And you can see I it's one cube subtracted by two other cubes. Same thing. The cubes have a width, height, and you know, Z, whatever. <laughs> and I'm translating them. Same thing, X, Y, Z, moves them, moves them in a direction. How do you do layers like that? Because since you're subtracting with those two other cubes and you have ammo in there, how come those two other cubes don't subtract the Great. ammo? Great. So that's like order of operations, and that's exactly what we'll get to next. So f first off, you see it says difference here. Yep. Difference subtracts the first thing by the second thing. So there can only be two things within this squiggly. Yep. So it's subtracting this main cube by this block. And the union, if we just want to render the union, is just these two objects put together. And I'll give you five seconds to catch up there. Oh, I see. That's cool. See, so if we... That's also your stream is less than five seconds, it seems. Oh, that's good. Like two. I'll give you like two seconds then. <laughs> So if, if I take the difference and I hashtag the thing I'm subtracting by, you can see the object. And then we have that, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you need to do union? Uh, because it can only it can only take one piece. Like, oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be union, but it's just I a way to, like, to bracket it's just one it together. The other. yep. Yeah. Um, there's probably a better way to do that. I'm not going to say I'm the OpenSCAD Pro, but if someone new open scad they'd probably have a better way of doing that because it, it does contribute to the render time but open scad is pretty fucking fast excuse my language all right the next one's minkowski this is not something you have to use as a novice but basically minkowski if i take this whole thing which is what you can see yep. and i minkowski it with this sphere here it's a little sphere this is the radius and fn is the detail if I Minkowski it, and I'll move my exclamation mark to the Minkowski, it's basically adding that sphere to every single point, and then taking the whole of the entire thing. And you can see it gives it that nice round bevel. So where... Uh, I get what it does, but how did it do that? It just... Um, let me back up uh, that's a second. Strictly edges. No, every s imagine it adds a sphere at every single vertice, like this oh, okay, point yep. and this point yep. and this point, and then it yep. just takes the outline of everything. How come it's jagged then? It's what's jagged here? A sphere, 
Like if you go back to the sphere, the edges aren't perfectly round. Yeah, uh, that's that's the triangles. quality. So let's go back. Oh. See the fn equals eight here. If I have fn yeah. equals eighty, and we re-render yeah. that. Um, yeah, well, it's rendering right now. I press the button as soon as I said render it. Plus two seconds. Plus it's still not done. <laughs> yeah, that's why we use little miles. I mean. When you're when you're bringing something into a game that's this small, it doesn't need to be anymore. No, that. I'm just wondering. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this demonstration is now crashed, Gad. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> it will finish. It will. That's pretty neat, though. I thought eighty was like a reasonable amount for a sphere. Well, the thing is, you're streaming. Oh, so look at how quality. high quality it is. It's perfect. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. Yeah, totally unnecessary. So that probably adds lag to games. If you yeah, yeah, it. of course. So you wanna. So what I press when you press F6 here and it finally renders it. Um, oh my god, that was so fast to do it. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's incredibly fast. Um, go down in quality. Holy shit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was immediate. Um, yeah, I can change it to like, I could change it to even 20, and like it would render. This is the full render. Um, yeah, I'm just saying. It would still render like that's pretty taken. fast and pretty high quality. 80 was just ridiculous. So I'm going to leave it at 8. Yeah, you don't need more than that. That's kind of neat. Um, I am streaming. My camera's down. No. <laughs> My girlfriend just went. All right, so uh, the next part here is, I guess I have this other block here. I I, I didn't want the Minkowski on the entire edge, so instead I, um, I'll put this hashtag here, and F5 it, you see I like kind of slice off the edge. And the reason this model's broken is because it hasn't been rendered yet. It, it's just done the fast render, and it can leave a lot of yep. artifacts if you do the full render. You can see that I've cut a flat edge in the clip, just to like give it a flat edge because everything was rounded off from the Minkowski. After the Minkowski, right? yeah. Yeah, and that's basically the entire model, and it's just those lines of codes and we, those lines of code, and we just went through it. Basic, that's pretty wild. It's like mostly just trial and error, like nudging these pieces into place, having a vision for like how you're going to cut things out of each other. And it's much easier to do mechanical pieces in SCAD, like this one, or like for 3D printing, over like human faces and like, uh, you know, nature. Nature's I could use AutoCAD to do that, probably. Yeah. Yeah, you could. No, I'm saying me personally, not like... Yeah, yeah, I, um... You know what I mean? I don't know if that would work for you. Yeah, you could. If, if you want to get back into AutoCAD, you have to use Blender. I don't know what that means. It's the software. It's free AutoCAD. It works pretty well. I haven't been able to figure out how to do any of the CAD features in Blender. I mean, I can just use AutoCAD. <laughs> AutoCAD's not a software. Are you yeah, saying? Oh, are you saying uh, Autodesk AutoCAD? Yeah. Autodesk, yeah. Yeah, I can just use that. That's expensive, man. You may have used it in school, but like that shit's expensive. Especially if we're using it for license work. Yeah, because you'd need a license for it. You can't just cheat. But I think I could get it through my school. That's true. How long are you going to be in school for? A long time. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'll take a... Uh, engineering program, even though I don't have to. <laughs> Game design program. Yeah, exactly. Alright, I'm gonna play some, uh... More H1. H1. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. You ready for me to... Stop. Yeah, I'm gonna kill my stream here. That was Autoscad for dummies. I uh, referred it to the cool. uh, cheat sheet online. Look, Google Autoscad cheat sheet 
And when you download AutoCAD, there's a bunch of examples. Make sure to go through those. Um, what you did? You send it to me, or what? <laughs> it's not called Open. It's called OpenSCAD, not AutoSCAD. You got me all like turned around, dude. OpenSCAD <laughs> cheat sheet. You can see it's on their website, OpenSCAD.org. It's got all of their calls. It's basically nothing. The main ones Dude, are union difference, intersection, translate, rotate, scale. Sorry, I was doing I that for my stream. 